Hey, hello people, hello. Oh, today I wanted to show you some um, some different looks of epazote. <laughs> um, this herb, this aromatic herb is really, really very typical of Mex in Mexican cooking. And well, this is one of the fresh leaves I just cut from my garden. If you know Epazote, if you have seen it in the market somewhere, maybe, um, I don't know, in some exotic fruit and veg vegetable market, <laughs> probably, um, well, you, you might think and believe this leaf is very small. It is, in fact, much smaller than the one you can buy in the market. And today I'm going with my mother to the supermarket and I'm going to show you how big the leaves of the commercial Epazote are. But the difference, the big difference between that kind of epazote, which I believe is a hybrid or maybe just um, a more resilient plant for commercial uses, I don't know. But the big difference, and it really makes a big difference, is the scent, the aroma this one has. It's really, really uh, strong, this one, compared to the one in the market. And that is what we actually appreciate because it's it has a very, very distinctive smell. Uh, and uh, it is usually added to, um, to beans. It's supposed to be added because it helps digestion. And we can, well, we usually added to quesadillas and there's there's another post somewhere in my feed or maybe I think that it might be on my stories but I will I will repost this where I'm making myself some quesadillas with some squash flowers cheese and epazote and well this is the dry plant the dry leaves it can also be used dry obviously it, it it keeps its smell its odor and um funny thing i don't know the aztecs had a knack for <laughs> for naming delicious things with horrible names <laughs> for example the actual name of epazote is it comes from nahuatl and it's i think it should be something like epazotl and it means Stinky sweat. Beautiful, right? I mean, nothing appetizing. <laughs> and they have other funny names, like, for example, Cuitlacoche, which I have already made a video on. Cuitlacoche means rotting shit. Literally. <laughs> Nobody wants to eat that. I mean, it's funny, but... <laughs> well, uh, the only thing that I'm uh, missing... Well, not missing, but I'm going to show you the seeds. It's kind of, it's really, really hard to separate them from the rest of the dry plant because they're really, really small. Look at this. Very small. If you see amaranthus seeds, they're very similar since they come from, I mean, they, they, they belong to the same family. And well, I think that's it. Uh, if you look for recipes with epazote, there's a lot in the in the web. Uh, but um, maybe tomorrow, tomorrow that I have, uh, well, uh, we're going for supplies today to the supermarket, and I think tomorrow I'm gonna do or make something with these beautiful things I have here, this epazote. And see you next time. Bye bye. Thank <laughs> you.